978 Dance. It's us, Holophonic. We are live at Tomorrowland in Belgium. And joining us in the studio right now, it's Holy Goof. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, all good, man. We're all good. Yeah, incredible. It's good to have you here, mate. And it's great that you're back at Tomorrowland again. Second year running, right? Yeah, second year. Thanks to Next Guy. Yes, and so he's, you're back with him again, right? Yeah, yeah I'm on his course. stage again, yeah. And yeah. uh, we were just talking about the stage. So you're on, is it with Gar- is it Garden yeah, of Madness? It's the one, we, we went down there just now. It's yeah. like a floating stage, isn't yeah, it? Is it you have to go on to like a little bridge and then you get on it and there's all... There's a, there's a fountain behind you as well. You've got like stuff coming out but it looks all, awesome. all around you. Yeah, you'll love it. You well, really will. Ho- hopefully the rain stops. Yeah, no, no, but you're under a cover as well. It's oh, perfect. That's all right, You've then. got like an inside outdoor area. It's like a it's florist great. hung their display above you. It's all yeah. flowers and stuff hanging. It looks awesome. Yeah, we was on the... Um, the dragon stage last yes. year yeah yeah that was cool that's uh that's going off side trance vibes today so is it yeah it's quite like the panic inducing <laughs> right okay. anyway so look we uh, everybody knows that listens back in dubai we kind of represent uh bass music out in the uae and, and of course yourself a man from back home are big in the game now so congrats man you're killing it thank you I'm, I'm doing all right i'm trying i'm trying yeah well you're living it you're, you're doing a great job and so for us you've got a load of music that we've played in the past but you've got stuff that's coming up next we were talking about a brand new remix which uh, which is, sounds massive yeah um just done a remix on ultra for nightmare and asap for a track called red light um so we're just pushing that now and that's coming out very soon um, so thanks to those, those guys for getting me on board. Yeah, no, it's huge. We'll make sure to play that on the show. And also, I mean, for those guys, just to give a bit of history, uh, Globes, which was the EP that that brought a lot of people together from the scene and also yeah. connected a lot of the world, you know, because it joined the dots, because we all see the likes of Jowls, Four, etc., around the place, but but it, they came together on this EP and it, and it was amazing. Yeah, so it was, a, it was like a compilation album, really. It's yeah. like 24, I think it was 24 track album, right? Yeah. Um, I should know, really. <laughs> I've just forgotten how many, <laughs> how many numbers right. it is now. But yeah, we did that and um, I got as many guys as I could. So I was going around the world. Yeah. Um, did a 49 date tour in America um, and going to all these other places across Europe, Australia, um, China. They're hearing this music and they know me and they perhaps don't know others so much or at all and so you know I just wanted to put the, the body of work out so that people could be like right okay well these guys are cool too and then hopefully everybody can sort of move around. Just grow the music in. Yeah. in general yeah. Yeah yeah. Well it's definitely. always a thing I mean I don't, you know whenever you're in music circles in the UK it's always a thing sometimes that you feel like you're trapped by the borders you know and, and the music it's when somebody goes and takes people with them it kind of means a lot to the scene i'm just trying to do my best for everyone and yeah. the sound and, and what we're doing you're like you don't know. lift me too high i don't yeah. want to be up there yeah <laughs> no, it's, it's all good like i'm enjoying the, the most important thing is to enjoy what you're doing yeah um, and i'm definitely enjoying and appreciating like every day yeah and um yeah you know if those guys can get out and go and play in other countries and get to travel and do what they love doing and that'd be great too some of the uh, big kind of bootleggy stuff that you've done, have you done them just to play out yourself and then you've decided to release it or do you think, you know what, I want to do this and give it to the world? Yeah, so I've kind of only ever done two bootlegs really. Um, the first one was a Skepta, It Ain't Safe. Yeah. Um, I think. And then um, obviously the God's Plan. Yeah. One and yeah, I kind of did the first one. I was like, I was playing on stage, uh, and there's a lot of other guys playing uh, similar sort of stuff. And I was like, right, I just want to make a dub plate for that. Did it, played it, went crazy. I put it up online. I think that one did like 750,000 views or something on Facebook. Crazy. And, and I was like, wow, okay. Um, this is working. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that was pretty big. And then, um, yeah, I just, I've always done original music. Hmm. And then that one came along, and then the next year, um, I was just in a mindset, and I heard the the, the God's Plan track, and um, decided to do it again. Finished it a few days, played it at a show, put up a video, and it hit like four million views in mm. a couple of days, and so that was pretty crazy. And that I was like, yeah, on sure. Apple Music and stuff. And we we were one of them views for <laughs> sure. Man. We're like, I need that remix now. You know, yeah. it's like. The- and continue to search so we can find a download for it but yeah yeah no that was and, uh, yeah and I, I just put it up to stream like, i never never give it out or anything really just put yeah. it up for people to listen to or whatever and um 
Yeah, then then uh, Jaws, he he played at Ultra Main Stage. Tiesto was playing it, and then you know I'm hearing all these crazy names all playing the track, and um, yeah, it just kind of went very very wide. It's, well, it's it's one of those things. It's kind of the unexpected happens like that, and then it's like right, I need now to get everybody back to my original stuff and like kind of well, move into this space. Well, that's kind of what happened. Yeah, so like. The, the God's Plan thing happened, like I said, I was trained in Apple Music, so people were going to find me for music at the same time as yeah. that. I just put out Fabric Live 97, so, yeah. you know, um, that mix series is like, finished at 100, so I was lucky, you, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to be part of that. But yeah, that came out at the same time, so um, people were searching my name and then they were going to find in the Fabric Live album. And then they were also seeing other people's music there, because obviously there was other people's tracks and stuff on there. So, um, it was just a positive move for everyone yeah, around, completely. really. So you, would you like recommend it to people that it's, it's good to just put out a, a, a bootleg every now and then to get people searching um, for your name, you know, so that uh, you're coming up? I, I just, n- not, not or really. Or just focus on... Not really. I always focused and still do always focus on yeah, originals yeah. Or, re- or, or official remixes yeah. As yeah, such, yeah. rather than a bootleg. Um, yeah, for sure. It's easy to get distracted. Good, good music is good music and if... If you write an amazing piece of music that's got a great vocal, catch it's good. It, it will it will catch. It yeah. will catch on, you know. Yeah. Because sorry, the beats still the same. The mm. music, the style, it's still the same. So if people are going to interact with something else, like a bootleg, they'll still interact with an original piece of music as long as it's written well, in my opinion. Yeah, no, no, I agree. And, and the good thing as well is that you were able to to have that as part of your history or your legacy but now it's kind of a footnote and you can now walk forward into what you've done with the EP and now these big remixes that you're doing and then obviously what's what looks like a crazy tour schedule yeah yeah so yeah you know I did the remix for Garrett's afterwards uh, and uh, Kali Post Malone um, as well Post Malone and Tiesto yeah Yeah. massive shout out to Tiesto yeah big supporter good guy yeah Um, he is a good guy so Um, you've got the um, the summer season now you've got festivals for yeah. days kind of thing yeah we've been some incredible moments already we did uh, EDC in Las Vegas yes and that was just uh, that was unreal it was really really good um, it's, it's amazing by the way to see I know I'm going back to this again I'm getting all soppy on the radio <laughs> but to see a UK artist play the EDC kind of yeah. you know, stages is like yeah. you know how hard it is to crack into scenes I, I know what a UK scene is like for anybody coming into the UK yeah. it must be a little bit like well, we're a bit tight and you know the Dutch scene and everything so to be able to be an artist that transcends and goes out there and plays that stage and, and rocks it yeah. is a great feeling I definitely 100% you know I've got to send a massive shout out to Jaws you yeah. know he's really backed me um, we went and did the 49 date tour for his label Bite This yeah. um, and that really increased um, visibility of the sound and um, gave me the opportunity to build over there and yeah. stuff and then I went back and did um, EDC and you know it was like it was, it was packed and it was it was going crazy and it was just like a proper memorable moment really Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and amazing. then yeah, so yeah, that was kind of like the start really of the the, the festival season. Um, around that time, I've done Glastonbury as well. Yeah. Again, another special. Yeah, one. I was gonna say it's, it, good it, yeah. it's amazing to see like the the bassy stuff doing so well in American yeah. festivals. You know, it's like yeah, because it's always got that kind of original. There's something of UK kind of the garage and the bass stuff is in there, but to yeah. see it going off, you know, in 2019. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hearing it in other music as well, man. Like the, the the tech house kind of vibe that's coming in. I know there's people like Chris Lorenzo and and that are in that mix, Chris Lake, etc. Yeah, it, that that baseline vibe vibe is okay it's it's not as intense as what we like perhaps and yeah, you know uh, yeah. but it's it's still it's still coming through yeah definitely chris is a uh, you know he does the bass stuff as well yeah. as as well as that kind of thing and now they're doing the anti up project and yeah. whatever but um i just think it's a general direction of music you yeah. know trends patterns you know sort of people listen you get inspired yeah you, you know i could listen to whatever and be like Oh, that sounds cool. Like I like the way that mm. moves, or whatever. That that sounds cool. Like that kind of rhythm and this kind of track, or whatever. So, yeah. yeah. And you'll only find out more as you're travelling around the world. Definitely, you definitely come across so many different sounds and cultures and way people like things, do things, etc. It's uh, 
it's fun. It's just enjoyable, really. Really enjoy it. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, thanks for uh, stopping by today. I know you got a busy day ahead, and obviously, yeah, a big show to do. So uh, we're yeah, gonna can't let you go. wait. But uh, holy goof! Thanks very much for coming. No problem. Thanks Woo! for having me. Yeah, man.